Hey guys, my name is Cairo and welcome back to another video guys today We have a world tour of a realm a realm tour So this is a world that me and a few friends have been playing on for the last six months I've been kind of vacant from it recently because you know school private life relationship work Homework all all the other things. I've also been playing a game called ESO really addicted to that <laughs> right now If you guys know what the game is anyway, I just wanted to get that out of the way. That this is a very cool realm open 24 7 up to my or with me and my close friends and yeah guys i uh, hope you guys enjoy it and tell me what you guys think uh who's your favorite base what you guys want to see what type of content you guys want to see from the future from now on and yeah enjoy the video thank you guys so much for watching let's get to it leave a like hey guys my name is Cairo. and welcome back to another video guys today we are touring my realm Handcraft, as you guys can see in the top right, it says Handcraft right now. Currently, it's me and Rickamo online. And guys, there's probably about 12, 13 players, I think, that play this world. And if you guys are wondering how to get in this world, you kind of can't. I mean, unless we're really cool. Um, only really close friends, such as, like, people I know in real life, people I trust, people I know that's been in the channel a while. People I know that I can trust on my world, even when I'm not around. But yeah, guys, <laughs> I just... I have to realize that this is going to be a long video and I can't keep on really talking fast. So guys, I'm just going to be showing you around the world. To be honest, I haven't really played this world that much in the last probably week, week and a half, maybe two weeks. Because I've been pretty busy with other stuff such as uh, work, uh, school, relationship, um, you know, homework, everything else. It doesn't really matter. But yeah, I've been kind of inactive on this game. I feel like a landlord just coming back in, checking up on, <laughs> checking up on my people, see how they're doing. But a lot, a lot of progress has been made. Now, guys, this wall, this map wall behind me, it's not finished. But I just think we needed some type of backdrop. And there's a lot to be shown over here, as you guys can see. Uh, these maps aren't updated either. They're probably like three weeks out of date. But yeah, guys, um, I really don't know where to start. As you guys can see behind me, welcome to Handcraft. Now, if you come down here, this is where you spawn. You spawn right past this portal. And this is the welcoming board. Guys, I really don't know how we're going to do this. We're just going to jump straight into it. To be honest, this world is so huge and I can't be more proud to be the owner of it. Or, eh, you guys know what I mean. Like, I really did not expect this world to go, like, this big. Now, of course, it's a realm and people can play on it 24-7. There'd be obviously more people spending more time on it than others. And it would just constantly be growing because more people are playing on it. But, wow. <laughs> wow. Um, I think this world is... November 20th today is April 29th so November that's two months then April it's so guys this world six months old around that roughly at the time of making this video but yeah guys there is so much to show oh my god I really I, I, we're not gonna be able to show everything some things I don't even know the purpose of I'm really out of date but guys we're just gonna be venturing this world together I know most of it but some of it it's gonna be new to me also <laughs> like so yeah, guys, sit down next to me, uh, enjoy the adventure. This video will most likely be not really edited because there's going to be so much, like a lot. Whoa, whoa, look at that. You guys see that? That's pretty dangerous. Imagine. Ooh. <laughs> but yeah, guys, um, very much to show. So let's just get into it. So you spawn around roughly right here and let's read these signs. World created November 20th, 2020, 2020, 2020. I know. Great day to start the world. You being here means you're deemed trustworthy. Welcome to the world. This world is open 24 seven. All members are considered close friends. Here are a few rules. Forbidden to steal, grief, cheat. Do not enter private spaces without consent. Build far away from each other and remain respectful. But most importantly, have fun. Now guys, these are really uh, simple rules to abide by, but they're needed. So, we just don't cheat, we don't steal, we don't grief, we don't, we just, it's all about respect and building the world together and seeing how far we can go. So yeah, guys, I really don't know how to jump into this. Like, this is a lot, a lot to be shown. I should have grabbed more fireworks. 58 should be fine. So um, yeah, guys, let's just go over here. So this map wall, it is a project by Rickamal, my friend in the game right now. He is the most active player. Shout out to him. He, he's the one that gets this world like going, like, He's the one that turns the key to the ignition type thing. <laughs> type thing. <laughs> but yeah, he's been working on this huge project. Now, it doesn't look that bad, but guys, he has to walk every single map. He has to keep it all organized. He has to use a compass to show where we're at. He has to walk all these blocks. 
like it's a lot it is a lot of materials in a lot of time so these maps haven't been updated but just really so and yeah we'll get to it um off this map let's see if we can pinpoint some things oops didn't mean to fly so if we're looking at this map right here we are currently right there that is spawn that is the map wall now this over here is Rickamole's base. It's got even way bigger, guys. It's gone like all the way, like over here now. Um, this is the job center. This is the sugar cane farm. That is Project Mine. That is Lalo's old base. That is my old base. That is this right here is um, what's his name? What's his name? What's his name? Someone's base. I'm sorry, I forgot. <laughs> it's been a while. Um. But yeah, guys, there's a lot, a lot to be shown. That over there is a few Lalo's friends bases. They're all really close friends. So yeah, guys, let's just get into it. Let's just adventure the world, see what we can find. And yeah, guys, just chill. Feel free to put this video on in the background as you're doing work or you just listening to some music, playing games, and you have this in the background for inspiration or you just wanna fully uh, sit down and watch it with me as we adventure this world. So yeah, guys, over here, we have unfinished projects now you might be thinking what the heck <laughs> guys this is an update this is a world tour but this is an update there will be more to come i'm just updating you guys from the last world tour and trust me you guys want to check out the last world tour because a lot a lot has changed in a short amount of time so guys this business or this building right here will be lalo's business he will be selling all his stuff over here he'll be selling all his items and yeah he has a few uh cool farms and he'll be this is basically a shop you guys get what i'm saying all right <laughs> Now let's go over here. I'm sorry if I sound a little disorganized. Um, yeah, I'm kind of rusty, but guys, we'll get through it. And this is PlayStation 4, if you guys are wondering. Guys, this over here is my shop. Uh, there is currently a creeper explosion. I haven't fixed it yet because I'm lazy. And yeah, <laughs> I just walk by it. Like every day I look at it, I'm like, Egh. Ugh. <laughs> and then I just continue going up. But guys, here we are. Mask on here slash tray slash Cairo's enchanted shop. Like the rest of this world, trust on base completely. Now guys, I have different price points for things, like 13 diamonds will be in this chest, 14 diamonds will be in this chest. If you guys are wondering how I do my shop system on this world, what we do is we put the items in the chest, and if you want the item, you take the item and you put the, di you put the diamonds where the spot is of that item. It's kinda hard to explain, but completely based off of trust, people buy without me being there. So yeah, somebody wanted a name tag, they go in here, they take it, and then they put a name tag there. I mean, they put a diamond there. But yeah, guys, we have a bunch of different items. I mostly sell enchanted gear and um, books. So yeah. I am now, re <laughs> I mean, I already realized earlier, but guys, this world's huge. Like, ugh, we only showed two things. So we actually might just uh, kind of skip by some stuff. Maybe just give a quick um, explanation. But besides that, wow, there's a lot, a lot, a lot to be shown. I'm not sure if we're gonna show everything in this video because we have shown some of the stuff in the previous one. So guys, this building over here is a very cool application or implement to the server, to the realm. Guys, this is the job center. This is, I think, one of the coolest things if you guys are ever bored on this world. Read above. Welcome, okay, I'm sorry, it's kind of hard to read. Welcome to the job center. This place is made to give jobs and missions to complete game rewards. This is completely based off of trust, so please respect the realm and finish the job. And finish the job to collect the reward. Be respectful and have fun. So right over here, I'm sorry guys, ignore that. Uh, complete the jobs by putting the items in the chest and then after you can collect your reward. Don't touch completed quest. Jobs will be reset ASAP. So guys, what this means is that this stuff over here, like collect three stacks of oak wood and then either have a diamond in there. So you put three stacks of oak wood, then you take the diamond. So guys, it's just a little objectives and stuff to do when you're bored and when you have no idea what to do. You can feel free to complete all these and get diamonds. And when you get diamonds, you can buy stuff from our shops and then you can buy stuff. Like, guys, it's a whole loop. I'm trying to make it like a whole economy for this world. <laughs> but yeah, here are some of the big missions like make an ocean monument farm, reward 15 netherite ingots, Elytra. And yeah, you accept the job by putting your name right there. Guys, <laughs> this is kind of hard to keep up to. I think it's a really cool idea. But me making all these buildings and um, these jobs and stuff. These diamonds come out of my pocket. Like, I gotta go out and mine it and then put it here and, um, yeah. But at the same time, it's kinda cool because I get all these items. Like, I get 12 gunpowder, I get a stack of bread, I get nine stacks of cobblestone, so yeah. So yeah, guys, this is the job center. Very cool idea. Um, yeah. <laughs> you guys ready to show that monster? Oh my god. 
now farther than even the render distance is Rickamo's base. Ah, oh, <laughs> this man, he is dedicated, he is loyal, he is smart. He, he has dedication, guys. So let's go check out his base. I can't even start. I don't even know where to, I really don't know where to start with this guy's base, man. He, he's insane, guys. He's probably has the best, he's probably the best and um, most time put into the server than any of us. He's probably put more time in this server than I have. And I'm the host. <laughs> So yeah, um, he has an iron farm right here. Currently we are underground, so let's try to get above it. Here we go. Oh, I don't, I don't even, guys, I didn't even know this existed. I don't even know this room. But man, guys, we're probably gonna have to fly above everything AFK, so you know what? His pace is insane. Oh, there's Rickamore, hey Rickamore. But yeah, um, wow. So let's take a flight above, fly around his base and see what we have. So guys, he has a huge project currently going on. Under every one of these is a tunnel going down. Besides this one, <laughs> ironic. Okay, um, my bad. <laughs> so currently, look at this huge tunnel down the middle, and then he has this huge base under there, then there's a tunnel going down to bedrock. So all these are quarries, guys. He manually had to mine these blocks all the way down to whatever level we went to. But yeah, look at, <laughs> look at this chest. Look at these chests, guys. Like, this man has been putting in work. <laughs> like, that's all filled with stuff. Going down, and yeah, I mean, I really can't justify what this man's creating. I don't know exactly what his plans are, but guys, it is huge projects to come. And they're still, be yeah, the guys, he's just, he's going at it. I'm guessing this is a protection area, so when he's AFK, uh, he doesn't get hurt, you know. But yeah, guys, feel free to say hi to Rickamore. Let's go over <sighs> Hello. Hello, good sir. Hello. Hello. All right. <laughs> well, uh, let's leave him to it. We'll continue on. And yeah, look at this stuff. Crazy, crazy, crazy. <laughs> oh my God. But yeah, guys, Um, feel free to comment down below if you guys have any, uh, if you guys have any comments, basically, if you have any questions, if you have any concerns, if you have any ideas, any anything, guys, anything you guys want to uh, feel free to talk about, put it down below. I'll make sure to check it out. Hello, good sir. Wait, <laughs> what are you doing here? <laughs> All right, guys, huge base, huge stuff going on. A lot of design, a lot of planning, a lot of everything. He has this huge tower going on. Really cool, really cool. He has a beacon over there getting set up. I'm guessing this is some type of gold farm. Then he has two iron farms. And guys, he's made a huge gold farm. A huge gold farm. Let's go check that out real quick. So yeah, I'm guessing he has he has a lot of gold. A lot of gold. This man is the Elon Musk of our world, confirmed. <laughs> but yeah, as we continue on down this direction, guys, look at all these chests. Oh my god, oh my god. Okay, you guys see all these chests? Ready? Look at this. Complete, legit survival realm. Grind. This man is grinding. He is like... He's like the Warren Buff <laughs> of Minecraft. Like, is it Buff or Buff? Yeah, I forgot his last name. <laughs> uh, don't quote me there. <laughs> but guys, yeah, insane. If we, we could honestly make a whole video just on Rick and Moe's base. I would give him that privilege though. It's clearly his base. He's made all the time for it. But, oh my God. Like, guys, he, <laughs> he has put many hours, tears, I'm guessing, blood <laughs> into this base. I'm sorry if I can't give it justice. There is so much stuff I haven't even shown, but insane stuff, man, insane stuff. Shout out to Rick and Moe. This is completely his base. He's done it all by himself. Props to you, man. Congrats, congrats. I'm 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 genuinely proud of you for this insane base. But yeah, guys, let's continue on down the path as we continue this direction. To the right, we have Project Mine. Now you guys might be thinking, what type of project is this? Like, look, at, we we got no progress done. No, guys, this this is a project. Ooh, wow, look at that. Guys, this goes down, or this is a 64 by 64, and whenever people get time, when they don't want to mine in their own mine shaft and contribute to the world, we come over here to mine. I even donated a beacon, me and Lala. I'm pretty sure I did the, excuse me. I donated the actual beacon, uh, Lala donated the iron, because he has the iron farm. 
but yeah guys so we all come here we all like to go mining and yeah very cool stuff very cool stuff it's a 64 by 64 and we plan to make it go all the way down all right we might fly past a few stuff because we have showed this in the previous world tour but if you guys are liking the world so far feel free to tell me if you guys are liking the video please leave a like i'm sorry if it is a little bit of dry or i'm sorry if i'm like not as entertaining as usual because we're guys we're kind of experiencing this together we're just adventuring the world seeing what we can find hopefully you guys get some inspiration or ideas off this world if you guys have any ideas yourself feel free to tell me i'd love to know it's like base um not sure if much project uh, progress has been made here because it is like i said my old base but yeah if you guys want more in detail um area like if you guys want to see more uh, feel free to check out the last world tour as I toured every single room to this place. But huge mansion, guys! This house took four days to make. Another creeper hole. Me and my creeper holes, I just, I just don't get it, man. I just like, I've already made it once. Why do I gotta make it twice? <laughs> uh, yeah, guys, you like my portal? Uh, I don't know why I did this. A creep, or when I was going through the portal, a gas shot me, and after the gas shot me, it destroyed half my portal. I mean, it still works, but very interesting, very interesting. <laughs> oh, what is this sign? Don't walk past here unless you have broken legs. I have never seen this sign. Someone, I guess someone is a venture of my old base and they just walked forward. That's funny. I, I don't know how long that sign's been there because this is my old base, but man, <laughs> I think that was Locked Dot. Shout out to Locked Dot. That was him. Also, we have to tour Locked Dot's base. I'm sorry. That was behind Rick and Mo's base. Like I said, guys, a lot, a lot to be shown. So yes, this is my old base. This is my old shop, but now relocated it at spawn. This is my old farm. Down here is my bunker. Shout out to my bunker. Guys, this is where I go. This is my plan Z. This is my fallout shelter. This is where I go when everything gets griefed. <laughs> no, not really. But yeah, guys, this is actually my first diamond sword. My first diamond pickaxe. The very first dragon egg. Or the only dragon egg? Yeah, I think you only can get one dragon egg. Boom, look at that. Look at that. It's kind of tumbled over, but... The very first axe created on this world, guys. Some legendary stuff <laughs> in my bunker. But yeah, cool stuff. Um, yeah, like I said, we're gonna try to uh, skip by everything because there's a lot to be shown and I feel like I can't show every little thing unless you guys want a four hour video. Cause, oh man, <laughs> there's a lot to be shown. All right, where should we continue next? Um. Let's head back to spawn and then we'll check out Lock Dots and Lalo's base. So yeah, there should be a portal right over here. Let's go through this. How are you guys doing? My name is Trey, uh, YouTube name Cairo. And yeah, hopefully you guys are doing well. Make sure to comment down below what you guys play on. Guys, this is my old base or my old portal to my old base. Uh, eat, yeah, eat. <laughs> um, so yeah, let's go this direction. We have a nice little ice path that we can take boats on to go super speedy. If we go over here, <laughs> ba boom, guys. Over here, we could check out Drifting Ziggy. That was his name. I forgot. I'm sorry, man. <laughs> guys, the base I pointed out on the map a long time ago. Drifting Ziggy's bay, you base. Let's go check it out. Let's see what he has. We also got to check out Lock Dots and Lalo's base and Lalo's friends' bases and my base and very, very much to be shown. Guys, over here is Drifting Ziggy's base. Now, he hasn't played in a bit, understandably, but if he ever does come back, this is the progress he has made so far. So, if he ever wants to come back and continue what he's been working on, this is where you're at right now, man. <laughs> but, yeah, now let's go check out Lock Dots and um, Lalo's base. All right, all right, guys, where are we at? Here we are. Guys, look at that. Imagine that flex. We just have a beacon just sitting in the middle of the nether, not even in use. Like, you know, all that iron. All that iron. Uh, oh! Just fell down. Whoa. To be honest, I don't even know where this goes. Kind of curious, guys. Let's go check it out. Or is this just a tunnel to go mining? Oh. Alright, forget about it, guys. We're heading back. <laughs> I feel like this goes on for a long time. Oh, I got to be careful with my firework use. All right, I'm sorry, guys. There's a lot. I keep on saying it, but, like, we we really don't have the time. Like, we will we will grow in age by the time we adventure this whole world. There's so much to be shown. It is now, like I said, six months old. And for six months, there's been people playing on it for months straight. Just 
days and days and yeah guys it's really nice it's a really cool community we all became really close friends and we all just enjoy minecraft and play it together so yeah oh do i have anything to cover this uh guys let's cover up this hole real quick just because we don't want people dying i'm guessing that just happened because i know earlier i heard like a, a damage attack and if you guys i forgot to mention this earlier um this world is like basically always in hard mode easy mode normal mode there's almost always a difficulty on but for the sake of this video we do have that off just so we don't get attacked and have to stop and eat food and yeah now if i am correct locked dark space should be in this direction so let's go check out locked dark space shout out to locked dark he's a fellow youtuber very cool man and yeah he has a lot going on I'm guessing this is his base right over here. Look at all them cows. <laughs> got meat and leather for days. All right, let's enter his base. Now, it may not look much, but this man, he is a hermit. <laughs> he lives in this tunnel, and this will be the tunnel he lives forever in. <laughs> so, yeah, let's go check it out. I won't go through his chest because that is his personal stuff, and we like to respect privacy around here. But, yeah, let's go check it out, guys. Ooh. Uh, so this leads to the open cave system but this is his base so yeah village whoa end oh okay <laughs> he has coordinates written down guys look at this man he plays this world a lot like rickamo and he's just a straight gatherer he, he likes making farms i heard he made a huge xp farm over in the ocean i don't even know where that's located like people put a lot of time in this world and there's so much stuff i don't even know about I'm pretty sure there's a uh, farm in there. But yeah, Lockdown, make sure to comment down below so people can check out your YouTube. You have a lot of stuff going on. And yeah, thank you guys so much for playing on this world. I appreciate you guys. Really cool friends. And yeah, I love seeing this world so active with uh, people. So let's head back up. <laughs> I can just realize I keep on making that noise. <laughs> Hamsters be like. <laughs> ah, I make myself laugh. All right, <laughs> guys, let's head out of here. I'm being stupid. So, guys, we're now we're going to go check out Lalo's old base. Lalo has a new base, but he uh, decides not to show that in this world tour yet. He wants it to be completely finished or um, more progress. It's not really. He's more like gathering materials for it and like um, what's it called? He's like making the landscape for it. Basically, he really has to start on the building itself. But yeah. So, guys, let's check out Lalo's old base and at Lalo's old base is all his friends bases and Lalo has about five friends that play in this world uh the reason i'm calling them Lalo's friends is because they're like six of them um the only reason i really know him is through Lalo because um he knows they know Lalo in real life and if you guys don't know Lalo, he's my best friend uh he's been with me forever and um yeah he's he started this world with me the second this round started he started it or he was with me but yeah, so Lala has about five, six friends that play on this world, and they're a community. They have their own little town with all the stuff at it. So let's give a quick glance over Lala's old base. Now, guys, his old base, I don't know how, but it burned. <laughs> we just came back one day, the reminder of Lala's burnt house. We came back one day, and the house was just, Lala logged in, and the house was just burning and there's been some speculations like, oh, did somebody do it? We're all close friends who would do it. But there's also lightning and this has happened before and we really don't know. It's a big conspiracy of the world. We don't know if someone did it, if there's a Mac or like a mean menace intent or if it was just natural causes, maybe um, a gas uh, glitched like, you know, cause sometimes, I don't know. I don't know, guys, we really just don't know. We don't know if it was a accidental light on fire or if anything, if you guys are wondering, we covered up most of the holes, but yeah, as you guys can see, this is the night of Lalo's burnt house. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> it was an event, but yeah, um, all this stone brick was just all burnt. We just put it back in so we could walk around all this in the corner of the house was burnt. Guys, it was a huge thing. It was crazy. Like Lalo's put in much time in this world a lot and he just logged back on and his house is in the middle of burning down. Very sad day. Uh, a lot of things came out of it, though. He is kind of sad that it happened. But at the same time, it gave him this new decision, a new inspiration to go build a new base. So, yeah, that's what he's currently working on. So, let's check out Lalo's second part to his old house. Huge area. He has a lot of things going on. He has a huge quarry over there also. And, yeah, he has a lot of stuff going on. 
Um, that over there is Lalo's villager farm where he has a bunch of hundreds of villagers that we just trade with. Over here is his potion brewing room that he's took all the potions out of. So guys, this base is kind of vacant because he has decided to move all to a new area. Justifiably so, you know, he started to, he wanted to start anew. But yeah, guys, here's uh, Lalo's part two to his old base. Very cool stuff. This has never been shown in the world tour before or in the last world tour. So yeah, all new stuff, guys. Very cool design, very very cool looking. Just like, look at this, a lot of detail, like just an extra amount of detail. You guys realize he had to get rid of that layer and then build a stone brick in behind that, up in the glass, and guys, a lot to show, a lot to show. This is a very cool area. It looks a lot better at um, daytime, because <laughs> you know, you see the light coming through. Uh, this is his old storage room. He still has some stuff here, another level. So yeah, while he was making this huge new area to his house, this is when his uh, other part of his house burned down. And I know this is probably gonna be his main area, so why even bother with the old house? But guys, if my house, if a part of my house burned down, I would still be affected by it. I would still want to go build a new. That's just me though. Um, but yeah, guys, this up here is an uh, ice farm. So we could have the ice pats in the nether. All shout out, all before, all from Lalo. Excuse me. <laughs> Sorry if I'm studying or stuttering on my words. Oh, I'm talking a lot. Let me get some water. Let me get some agua. Man, long video, a lot of talking, a lot of explanation. But guys, we'll get through it. We'll get through it. But yeah, a lot of promising stuff from these peoples. <laughs> peoples. <laughs> We got a lot of cool stuff going on. Shout out to everybody that plays on this world. Shout out to everybody for watching this video. If you guys made it this far, thank you. Really appreciate it. If you guys are wondering, no, this is not my primary skin. Uh, I don't know, my eyes are still closed. There we go. <laughs> but yeah, um, yeah. <laughs> God, I know <laughs> I kind of lost my train of thought. Now, most of the time I'd be editing these weird parts of the video out, but guys, you are here suffering through it with me. There is so much to show, and we're just really curious, and we gotta keep on seeing what else we can find. So let's go check out, oh, I don't know why I jumped out. Let's go check out Lala's friends area. Guys, this is a whole community. As you guys um, remember, this is a realm. This world is open 24 seven. There's probably about 13 people I'm guessing that have access to this world. And there's almost always somebody on. And yeah, guys, we're just going through it. We're seeing what people would do and work on on this world that's always open. And it's very cool stuff, very cool stuff. This has become a main world for a lot of people. So guys, let's check out Lalo's friends community. <laughs> I feel like they should have a name for themselves because there's a lot of them. And yeah, I don't know what to really call all of them. Um, I'm guessing that portal's not supposed to be there. The portal's supposed to be right there. That was kind of weird. Did they break the portal? Let's find out. Oh, I'm guessing the portal got broken on accident. It happens. But guys, I haven't checked on them in a while. Oh, it seems the portal might be glitched. It seems the portal is spawning at different locations every time. Guys, let's fly around and see what they have been creating. Let's see what we got so far. Dang, <laughs> I actually like the little house. Guys, look at this huge community. Whoa, I've seen this sword on Instagram. They actually made it, really cool. Wow, that's actually really cool. I love, Okay, guys, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry for like I'm randomly saying stuff because this is the first time me seeing this stuff too. I'm just kind of surprised. I personally love the uniqueness and color code of this house. Like you guys might be one or like thinking like this is kind of random, but I'm thinking this is really unique. My first thought, my first initial thought was like, wow, this is different. But I like that. <laughs> I like how different it is. And if you guys can see. They use walls or um, fences right here, so it gives that extra layer of detail or depth. And yeah, look at they got some cool stuff going on down here. All right, so here's a cool nether sword. Very cool, very cool. Look at their little futuristic house. I'm sorry if I'm not giving them justice, because like I said, there's a lot to be shown. And yeah, I'm not really sure what <laughs> what everything they have. Like there's a lot. Ooh. Oh, is that AirPods? Tim's. <laughs> oh, dude. All right, guys. Um, let's check out this house over here. Very cool. I like how like immersed this town feels. Like there's a lot going on. Like I feel like I'm here with them. Oh, they have a little statue right there holding water. And as you guys come over here, you like jazz. You like jazz? Maybe. 
I present to you Among Us. <laughs> Among Us. And, uh, yeah. Oh! I fell. Okay, where is this? The boy home. <laughs> Uh, as you guys see here, a uh, very magical, beautiful piece of artwork right in the middle of the house. To... <laughs> Let's go. We're leaving this house. <laughs> oh, whoa. Actually, very cool lamppost. I like this. I like this. I'm stealing that. <laughs> uh, this is a cool mine. This is where they go mining, I'm guessing. Very nice farm over there. <laughs> yeah. All right. I just need to regather myself real quick. Um... Beautiful art piece. Okay. Uh, <laughs> we're not going to read that. Um, Nice little Viking villager home over here. They even have a little bakery. Can I open? Ooh, look at that. Look at that. And then they can sell stuff. I love it. Great idea. Great idea. All right. They have a nice little murder over here. Yeah, meatball. Okay, good night, people. Love seeing that. Love reading these signs. But yeah, guys, we're just experiencing what they go through. What they've been building in their town and they're very cool people shout out to them <laughs> based apj crib uh guys let's check out their house they actually have a really whoa never never seen this area really cool house actually mine shaft i'm guessing that's where they go mining whoa, a lot of turns a lot of a lot of stuff to be seen so yeah i'm guessing that's where they go mining so yeah very cool stuff very cool stuff Ooh, look at that. Look at this divider in the house to show different rooms. Okay. 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 <laughs> but yeah, guys, I'm sorry if I'm not talking much. We're just, we're just, um, adventuring this house together. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you know, I should have expected this. We, guys, we came in, um, I came in to tour this house or this world unexpectedly. I've warned everybody that I was going to tour this world eventually, but I just got on one night as of that's tonight. <laughs> and I'm like, you know what? We're touring the world. We're doing it. We're finally giving an update. So guys, there will be more tours coming of this world to show you and update you how things are going, what people are making and what you guys can find or what you guys can see basically like just see the progress of this realm come together. Ooh, <laughs> oh, what type of throat is this? What? Ah. <laughs> Man. So, yeah, guys, very cool community. They have a lot of cool stuff going on. Very cool people. Tight knit. They are all know each other in real life. It's, and, yeah, it's kind of wholesome. Like, they're all really close friends in real life, like a group. And here they are making their community in Minecraft. This roof is, like, extremely satisfying. I like this roof. I like it. All right, guys, um, I feel like there's a lot, there is a lot more to be shown, but for the sake of this video and time's sake, guys, we're going to go check out my base, what I've been creating, and yeah, I got a few cool things to show you guys, so let's go check it out. Oh, there's the portal. All righty, let's head over here. Now, guys, there's a lot more in this world, such as Lala's new base that we're not going to show. Uh, Lola's iron farm, Rickamo's gold farm that he's created. I know we showed the area for it, but I mean the loot area, but not the actual farm itself. Guys, there is much to be shown, but I don't want to make this video extraordinarily long. If you guys do want a part two, feel free to tell me like a, a one sooner than my next. So right now we're doing world tour part two. I have uploaded a world tour probably I think two months ago. And I'm going to make more to update you guys. But if you guys want another one to see stuff I haven't shown in this video, feel free to tell me. All right, guys, let's head out. Or let's head to my new base. So, guys, if we take a turn right here, this is my old base. Now, if we continue on down in this direction, this leads straight to my new base. Zoom. Okay, here we are. Now, I still haven't made the entrance to it, guys. My base is still a work in progress, as many as other people's. But yeah, uh, let's check it out. My house burned down. <laughs> Guys, welcome to my new base. And we're just going to do a fly around to show you the size of this thing. Because, wow, this took a few days. So, guys, I present to you the bunker. <laughs> the bunker. Here we are. Now, usually there isn't a tower right there, but I died and I had to go grab my stuff. So, guys, this is my bunker. And look at this. Yeah. <laughs> now, this is my sky base. Now, I probably should have mined this tower, but you guys 
can see the struggle I went through. So my bed's up here, I died, and my bed didn't let me respawn, so I had to build up to go up there to go through my, um, to get my ender chest. Long story short, this tower shouldn't be here. But yeah, guys, this is my bunker, a lot to be shown. Let's go down to the entrance and show you guys what we got. I, pr ow, <laughs> I'm glad we didn't die there. That would have sucked. <laughs> um, I present to you my flower field. It goes on for a long time. Very beautiful stuff, cool stuff going on. But guys, let's, heck, let's check out my bunker. If you guys are wondering why there's a hole in the middle of my sky base up there, a creeper exploded and I actually like it because now I could fly straight through that hole. It's kind of weird, but I like it. It's actually really useful. I don't have to fly above. So guys, entering my bunker all around, this base is very symmetrical. Everything's like, if it's on this side, it's on this side basically. And also with the other stuff. So this is a big circle and then we have a big square inner base. And on the outside of the square, we have different farms. As you guys can see over there, we have carrots and we have wheat, then we have bamboo, then we have potatoes, I believe. But yeah, guys, this is my old storage room. I ended up mining most of the chests as I moved all my valuables to the upper sky base. This is an empty room. Much of this bake, uh, bunker is empty rooms. As you guys can see, there's so many floors to it. But I just made this for like the shock value. Like this is my bunker, I like it. Like when you come over, you're like, whoa, look at this area. <laughs> but yeah, um, let's check it out. So the guys, there's multiple floors just like this. And if you come over to these uh, plateaus, plateaus, I don't know if that's the word for it. We have some nice berry farms along every side. And then if we go up another floor, it's an empty room, such as the other ones, <laughs> but we also have this area. Now this is my bed. I know, very nice bed. I know, man, you see that? You see that quality, that material, beautiful. But yeah, guys, we have that little platform every side. Like I said, this base is very, very symmetrical. Like if there's a platform over here, there's a platform every four sides. Now we come over here and then we have another floor. And how we get to that is that we go on this little platform and then we turn. Now we have staircases up to this floor and this is the last floor, JK, there's another floor. We have the attic and then we go to the attic. It's actually a very cool, very well, uh, I really like the lighting of this area. Like. I like how everything's based off this natural light and it gives this like glow to this room. Which is, yeah, very cool. So yes, guys, this is my bunker, very cool. Love the look of it. Now let's go check out my sky base. If it lets me fly, my my leecher, my leecher is broken. Okay, okay, understood, understood. Um, man. Yeah, didn't think this one through. <laughs> Uh, let's kill something to get some XP, then we'll head up there. Come on, mob, sacrifice your life. I heard a chicken. I heard a chicken. Where is it at? <gasps> Sheep. <laughs> you will be a, a nice sacrifice. Man. Okay. Um, I might have to get back to you guys and show you guys that area up there. All right. Okay, guys, I'm gonna do a little quick edit and I'll see you guys when I have XP. I'll see you guys in one minute. All right. All right, guys, we just left my XP room, fully repaired my gear, or, you know, at least my armor, not my weapons. But yeah, <laughs> let's go fly to my other base. Now, we can't take the portal, but it is not that far of a distance from my old base. So let's go fly over there, guys. So yeah, if you guys have gotten this far in the video, I just wanna say thank you. I know this video has been kinda like, like kinda all over the place. But that's just how it goes sometimes, guys. And I appreciate it if you have made it this far. It does mean a lot. And if you guys like any of the bases or if you have any ideas, feel free to tell me about it down below. I actually love reading your guys' comments. So yes, guys, as we fly above here, welcome to my base. Now, guys, <laughs> this is my pride and joy. This is my, this is my area. This is where stuff goes down. <laughs> as you guys can see, for absolutely no reason, just for bragging rights, we have four beacons up here. Now these beacons don't work down on the ground down there. Like the distance is too far. I have these beacons solely and only for the reason of the flex. <laughs> just to show off, just to show my status in this world that I am a baller that likes to waste my materials on beacons. <laughs> but yeah, no, um, iron and gold isn't really that rare anymore in this world because we have farms for it, justifiably so. But I would like to, um, I'd like to address 
that I made these gold blocks before there's gold farms. These iron blocks came from Lola's iron farm, so never mind, that's not really that much of a flex. But these diamond blocks, guys, oh my god. These, those came from this pickaxe right here. Down in the depths of the, <laughs> down in the depths of the caves. I spent hours getting those diamond blocks. But yeah, guys, this is my uh, base up in the sky. As you guys can tell, I'm a very symmetrical person. We have a four on every side. So if there's something on this side, there's something on this side. And then under this platform, we have a very nice cool tree area that mobs actually spawn in. I love that. And guys, this is what I was talking about. This natural hole that blew up from a creeper uh, leaves this really cool entrance that can fly in and out of the space. So I love flying up through this portal when I land over here. But yeah, yeah, guys, I really like this area over here. We have this nice pond going down. And this is where I go fishing. And then there's mobs that spawn up here. Just for the end of this video, we have some thunder going on. You know, beautiful timing. But yeah, guys, this is my this is my base. This is where I wake up and I log off and log on the world. This is where I keep all my materials, all my different items and what I need and what I can craft with. We have all my shulkers over here. That should be completely empty because I try to try to stay organized. You know, I'd literally spend an hour going through all my shulkers and just placing it in the walls, placing it in the walls. And I know you can have an automatic farm, but man, <laughs> uh, I feel like it wouldn't look as nice as this. <laughs> but I should make an automatic farm. That's a really cool next step. And that's what I love about Minecraft. There's always more to do and more you can decide to do, more you can find, more you can build. <laughs> But yeah, guys, uh, over here we have my enchantment area with all the necessities, you know, the blacksmithing, the the uh, upgrade table, the anvil, the nether table, the enchanting. But yeah, guys, um, I think that wraps up this world tour. There's a lot more to be shown, but we can leave that for a future video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please tell me down below which was your favorite base out of all of ours. There's mine, Locked Out, Rick and Moles, Lalo's. Uh, Drifting Ziggy, <laughs> um, Lawless Friends Community Area, the Spawn, the Job Center. What was your favorite part about this realm? If you guys made it this far, please comment. Carrot. Just comment carrot. Don't give no uh, context. Just comment C A R R O T. And yeah, that means I will know you watched to the very end, and I'll make sure to heart your comment. But yeah, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate you guys. You guys have a great day day night evening morning anytime you guys are watching this video and yeah uh i love you guys thank you so much for watching hopefully i can catch you guys in the next video have a great day and yeah my guys <laughs> yeah my guys <laughs> yeah my guys uh yeah thank you guys so much for watching i'll catch you guys in a future video goodbye no i said it wrong ka-chow <laughs>